Okay. So my name is Candace Quarles. I work for the Texas Working Families Party, and we are here with our House District endorsed candidate for House District 113, Ms. Retta Andrews Bowers. Hi, Candace. Hi, everybody. Hey. So uh, tell us about uh, where is House District 113? Well, right now we're in Garland, which is part of House District 113. We have eight cities, and they are parts of Rowlett, parts of Garland, parts of uh, Bald Springs, parts of Rowlett, Mesquite, uh, all of Sunnyvale, Siegelville, and a little bit of Dallas. And then we've got a, a little portion near Kaufman County that's called Combine. But we've got eight cities and four ISDs. And, you know, a lot of times, Candace, it feels like the largest district in Dallas County. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a little bit um, of a uh, little lag again. All right, can you are you in another area? Are you? Are we good? This is right where I was before. Okay, let me check. Hold on, I'm gonna check on my phone and see how's it. Okay. Looking. Okay. It's saying Brittany Britt White. Uh, I realize how close my face looks, and now I'm not comfortable with that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that would definitely Hey, hey I'm using my arm's reach, so that's you're awesome. fine. I'm the bigger yeah. picture in it. You're the you're fine. You're fine. It would have been a lot closer inside. <laughs> okay, let me see. How can I share your live? Okay. okay. Well tell me a little bit. Oh, we got Gina. Um McGowan K. She lives near Combine in Siegelville. Oh, that's awesome. Well, I hope, Gina, that I will have your vote and your support in this election. Um, we ran in 2016, and we came back because we had that 45% of the vote. And if you did vote for us, Gina, I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, my daughter told me with all, with all sincerity, she said, Mom, you wouldn't have been true if you didn't come back. How could you say that for all that time to the people that live in the district? if you really didn't mean it. So those 25,000 votes that we got during a presidential year really, really spoke to me. Oh, good, good, good. So tell me, um, what I'm hearing is that, uh, I'm hearing some candidates are not getting all the support that they need because, uh, you know, it's a whole bunch of other races going on. So what's your volunteer yeah. looking like? What's your volunteer? Yeah, that's, Candace, that's an unfortunate reality. <laughs> um, we live and breathe that every day. We really need volunteers in 113. We need people to recognize that we really stand a chance to flip this district. And because of it, they're going to fight just as hard. So we need people to help us get the vote out, get the word out. Uh, there are a lot of voters that don't believe their vote count, unfortunately. Uh -huh. And people, did, people sat out in 2016. Uh, and they, unfortunately, they told me they didn't know I was on the ballot. Mm. Mm. So, so we need people to know what sitting out does as well. I mean, we can see what we ended up with. Um, you know, there were some people uh, on the other side of the ticket that voted Trump. Unfortunately, Trump bowers. So there's some Republican voters out there that were not happy with what we had, and they are supportive. But there's the low propensity Democratic voter that needs to really get out. We've got to be able to push them out. And so we need those volunteers to help us get the word out, whether it's in sign delivery or getting our literature out there to the doors. So give me real numbers in this race. How many people voted for you uh, in the last race? Um, how many voted for you in the primary? Tell me how many you need to win. Because I, I heard that this was a winnable race with like yes. less than three so, three good volunteers you can do this. And so I want to tell you what we're looking at then. Our win number right now is 16,086. We have a voter base of over 13,000 which leaves us with a persuadable universe of a little over 3,000 votes. So we need to be able to persuade 3,091 people to get <laughs> out the vote. I do have it down to the numbers <laughs> Anderson, I, I'm telling you, as I stand here 49 days away, I do know that it's possible. Good, good, good. And then, um, so...
tell me about your opponent. Who you running against? Well, he's a new guy. Um, incumbent. No, he's a new guy. It's an open seat, and I, I enjoy saying that. But I need people to know that he's an Empower Texans endorsed candidate. He is, you know, supported by some West Texas money. He moved into the district to run for office against the three-term incumbent that I ran against um, in the serving member. Um, and that's another thing that people are not happy with, the fact that he moved into the district to run. I've lived here for 18 years. 18 years come this November. And I'll be glad to celebrate as the state rep, serving state rep, after 18 years of living here and working in the community. And the other thing is he's, he's an anti-vaxxer, which as a daughter of a, a doctor and surgeon and physician, that doesn't sit well with me. And as a mother that knows that every dose counts when it comes to protecting the lives of our children. So don't get me started. I'm getting, I'm getting heated out here in this sun. I'm but, sorry. I know you're outside. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> I know you you're know, outside. Sorry about I, that. I, believe that, that this is going to help us get the vote out and I'm so appreciative that you would take the time out of your day to do this for us. Oh yeah, no problem. I think, um, you know, I've been watching your race and I know you, so we're so aurora and you've been working and um, this is, uh, you know, they talk about house district races, uh, turnouts kind of low in this area, meaning that's winnable and that's a good thing because uh, opportunities to play. But I see you working. Like, I know how hard it was in that very red district last cycle. And for you to come back and say, I'm going to tackle this again, I'm like, okay, we got to put some energy around it. We just need to Hi, know uh, that, you know, Retta Bowers, House District 113, this is a winnable district. So she just needs a little bit of help from some solid volunteers. So while we have a that, That's great a little bit of your day. Anytime you can volunteer. Yeah, okay, so you, when they say volunteer, when well, you want volunteers, what do you want? You want people to knock for you, make phone calls, I, text messages? I what do. do. All of the above. Knock for us, help us get out on the doors. Thankfully, it's September. It's a little bit cooler now than it was in the summer. But we also have daily phone banking. Um, you can knock any day. You can dial any day. You can dial from home. We have virtual phone banks. Mm. But we also need help with sign yard sign delivery um and i'll say this my husband john works hard at putting those road signs up he thinks he can do it alone but i'm gonna still ask for some help for him too uh-huh art husband's just like that huh never yes. <laughs> so go ahead and ask for some help for your husband yes, yes. <laughs> so tell me yes. about um in this race how many what we got six saturdays seven saturdays left are we almost yeah, we're, we're, we're almost getting down to months. six. We're getting down to six. Right at about seven Saturdays. And um, I tell you, I'm already feeling like it's not enough time. But I know with all the help that we're going to get from these Facebook Lives, it's possible. It's possible. And, and tell me who you've been, your endorsements. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. With Working Families Party, Candace. We have knocked through the roof in over over 30 endorsements. Would you like to hear some of them? Yes, please. All right. Well, we're endorsed by, of course, Working Families Party, the AFL-CIO. We're endorsed by the Texas State Teachers Association, American Federation of Teachers, Planned Parenthood, Annie's List. Oh, my gosh. Let me think. Uh, the Dallas County Tejano Democrats, the Mexican-American Democrats. We are... Um, if I could, I'd have to look at the website. Please go to redabowers.com because they're all listed on there. And um, it just humbles me to know that that so many people are behind us. So. Good stuff. So how can we contact you if we want to help? Um, yeah, there are two places you can go. Email us at bowers, the number four TX at gmail.com or www.redabowers.com. You can get involved there and you can donate. The money will help us, but we do need the boots on the ground as well. Got it. And then uh, what if we are in your district? Um, how can we get a yard sign? You can go to our Facebook page. You can send us a Facebook message. You can send us an email requesting that yard sign, and we will get it delivered to you. Um, 
So you can also call 972-379-8080 and request your yard sign. Give us your address and you will have it as soon as possible. Good. And I know that uh, I got a couple of sororers on my page watching. So tell uh -huh. me where you were, who made you, what chapter, when was it? Oh my gosh! I'm, do you remember I'm your so line name? Or do you remember your line name? Shit, thing. I do. Number? I do. I do. My line name was Doris Day. I pledged Spring '89 Delta Gamma. I'm so proud to be a Delta Gamma Sara from TSU. I pledged my mother's chapter and Aww. Barbara Jordan's chapter too. That's right. You sure did. Look at yeah, that. Sure. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, anything else you want us to know before we wrap up? Well, I I just have to say, I can't thank you enough for this. You have made my day. Anytime you want to do this, I will make time. So, y'all, we have to get out the boat. <laughs> so I, I think next to... time. Go ahead. Let me say this. Let me say this. We are 49 days away from Election Day. Early voting starts October 22nd, runs through November 2nd. Election Day is November 6th. Hey, y'all, but... But go ahead and vote early, because I, I have to say this too, Candace. We won the primary at 65% in early voting. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, in early voting. Okay, so we encourage people to go and vote early, vote on the first day. I think this will be a historic election for Texas. Um, Reddest yes. District is one of the ones to watch to a flippable district. So please help get involved. Uh, there are plenty of statewide candidates, a lot female. Um, that are running to flip these seats. So the, the women need the same support as you guys do for all the other candidates. And um, like her Facebook page as well. You know, and I think one time, I think I'm going to come up, I'm going to send you a text message, Greta, that I'm going to come out there, we're going to knock doors together so we can do a lot. All right. I would love that. We can set it up. Cool. Yes. All right. I tried to see if anyone had any questions, but I will make sure to put your website um, and your email address in um, the uh, description so people can go and refer to it because this will be on the Facebook page. That would be great. We appreciate you so much, sis. Okay, and what so cities again? I'm sorry, sorry. What cities do you represent again so people will know if they live there for you? Rowlett, Garland, Mesquite, Sunnyvale, Seagullville, Box Springs, Dallas, and Combine. Combine. Got it. Okay. You have a good yeah. one, Brenda. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks for all, all you right. do. Bye. All right. Bye.